Francesco Ridi was an Italian physician, naturalist, and poet. He was the first scientist to challenge the theory of spontaneous generation by demonstrating that maggots come from eggs of flies. He was also the first to recognize and correctly describe details of many important parasites, and for this reason, as many historians and scientists claim, he may rightly be called the father of modern parasitology, and also regarded as the founder of experimental biology. Biography the son of Gregorio Ridi and Cecilia de Gonsi was born in Arezzo on February 18, 1626. His father was a renowned physician at Florence. After schooling with the Jesuits, he attended the University of Pisa from where he obtained his doctoral degrees in medical and philosophy in 1647, at the age of 21. He constantly moved to Rome, Naples, Bologna, Padua, and Venice and finally settled in Florence in 1648. Here he was registered at the Collegio Medico where he served at the Medici court as both the head physician and superintendent of the ducal apothecary to Ferdinando II de' Medici, Grand Duke of Tuscany and his successor, Cosimo III. It is here that most of his academic works were achieved, which earned him membership in Accademia dei Lincei. He was also a member of the Accademia del Cimento from 1657 to 1667. He died in his sleep on March 1, 1697, in Pisa and his remains were returned to Arezzo for interment. A collection of his letters is held at the National Library of Medicine in Bethesda, Maryland. Scientific Career, Experimental Toxinology in 1664 Reedy wrote his first monumental work Osservazioni in torno alle vipere to his friend Lorenzo Megalotti, secretary of the Accademia del Cimento. In this he began to break the prevailing scientific myth such as vipers drink wine and shatter glasses, the venom is poisonous if swallowed, head of dead viper is an antidote, the viper venom is produced from the gall bladder, and so on. He explained rather how snake venom is unrelated to the snarkier Euro unregistered trademark S bite, an idea contrary to popular belief. He performed a series of experiments on the effects of snake bites, and demonstrated that venom was poisonous only when it enters the bloodstream via a bite, and that the fang contains venom in the form of yellow fluid. He even showed that by type ligature before the wound the passage of venom into the heart could be prevented. This work marked the beginning of experimental toxinology toxicology, entomology and spontaneous generation. Reedy is most well known for his series of experiments, published in 1668 as Esperines in Torno alla Generazione de Glincetti, which is regarded as his masterpiece and a milestone in the history of modern science. The book is one of the first steps in refuting spontaneous generation a theory also known as Aristotelian abiogenesis. At the time, prevailing wisdom was that maggots arose spontaneously from rotting meat. Reedy took six jars and divided in two groups of three, in one experiment, in the first jar of each group, he put an unknown object. In the second, a dead fish. In the last, a raw chunk of veal. Reedy covered the tops of the first group jars with fine gauze so that only air could get into it. He left the other group open. After several days, he saw maggots appear on the objects in the open jars, on which flies had been able to land, but not in the gauze-covered jars. In the second experiment, meat was kept in three jars. One of the jars was uncovered, and two of the jars were covered, one with cork and the other one with gauze. Flies could only enter the uncovered jar, and in this, maggots appeared. In the jar that was covered with gauze, maggots appeared on the gauze but did not survive. He continued his experiments by capturing the maggots and waiting for them to metamorphose, which they did, becoming flies. Also, when dead flies or maggots were put in seal jars with dead animals or veal, no maggots appeared, but when the same thing was done with living flies, maggots did. Knowing full well the terrible fates of outspoken scientists like Giordano Bruno and Galileo Galilei. Reedy was careful to express his new views in a manner that would not contradict the theological tradition of the Church. Hence, his interpretations were always based on biblical passages, such as his famous adage, Om vivum ex vivo. Parasitology, Reedy was the first to describe ectoparasites in his Esperines in Torno alla Generazione de Glienceti. 
His notable illustrations in the book are those relevant to ticks, including deer and tiger ticks. It also contains first depiction of the larva of Sophnomyonae, the nasal flies of deer, as well as the sheep liver fluke. His next treatise in 1684 titled O Servazioni in Torno Agli Animali Viventi Chasi Travano Negli Animali Viventi recorded the descriptions and the illustrations of more than 100 parasites. In it he also differentiates the earthworm and Ascaris lumbricoids, the human roundworm. An important innovation from the book is his experiments in chemotherapy in which he employed the control, the basis of experimental design in modern biological research. Altogether he is known to describe some 180 species of parasites. Perhaps, his most significant observation was that parasites produce eggs and develop from them, which contradicts the prevailing opinion that they are produced spontaneously. Literary career, as a poet, Reedy's best-known work is the Dithyrum, Baco in Toscana, which appeared posthumously, and is considered one of the best literary works of the 17th century. His Bacchanalian poem in praise of Tuscan wines is still read in Italy today. He was admitted to two literary societies, the Academy of Arcadia and the Accademia della Crusca. He was an active member of Crusca and supported the preparation of the Tuscan Dictionary. He taught the Tuscan language as a letter to all Publio di lingua Toscana in Florence in 1666. He also composed many other literary works, including his letters, and Ariana Infirma. Recognitions A crater on Mars was named in his honor. The larval stage of parasitic fluke called Redia is named after Redi by another Italian zoologist, Filippo de Filippi, in 1837. The Redi Award, the most prestigious award in toxinology, is given in his honor by the International Society on Toxinology. The award is made at each World Congress of IST since 1967. A scientific journal Redia, an Italian journal of zoology, is named in his honor, which was first published in 1903. A European viper subspecies, Vipera aspis francis Aradi Laurenti, 1768, is named in his honor. See also, Parasitology, List of Craters on Mars, OZ, References. Further reading, Altieri Biagi, Maria Luisa. Lingua e cultura di Francesca Ridi, Medico. Florence, L. S. Alschke. Asina Booa 30Z 37WA, External Links, Francesca Ridi Entry in the Catholic Encyclopedia, Experiments on the Generation of Insects, Translation of the Fifth Edition, Baco in Toscana, Francesca Ridi at Princeton.edu, Biography at Catringale, Biographical Website of Francesca Ridi. Reedy One Quarter S Experiment, Famous Scientists, Francisco Reedy, Francisco Reedy at the Galileo Project, Francisco Reedy at Ketera Kunst, Francisco Reedy at the Free Dictionary, Francisco Reedy at Infoplice, Spontaneous Generation and Francesco Reedy, Galileo's Twin.